I'm Brenda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute acorn thank you card using the acorny thank you stamp set and the matching acorn builder punch. If you buy both of these together, you can also save 15%, which is a really great deal. So let me show you how to make this. To start off with, you're going to need some crumb cake note cards and envelopes. And if you don't have a crumb cake note card, you can cut one yourself by cutting a piece of cardstock to seven inches by five inches and then scoring in half at the three and a half inch mark. So we're just gonna go ahead and start off by folding this note card in half and we are going to need a piece of designer series paper. Well, I forgot to buy the beautiful paper that matched with the fall themed products. And so I was looking through my paper stash and I found that the ink colors, the 2015, 2017 ink colors had some really great fall colors. So I picked this polka dotted side of this paper out and I cut it to five inches by one and a quarter inches. And then I'm just going to go ahead and a little bit of Tombow on the back here and when I measured it it looked best about half an inch from the bottom so I'm just going to use my grid paper here to kind of get it about half an inch from the bottom that looks about right and then just like it here that down Next, we're gonna need a circle for our acorns to sit on. And I am using the two and a half inch circle punch. And I'm just gonna go ahead and punch out a circle. And I'm also gonna put some Tombow on this circle. And I want that maybe a quarter inch up on the designer series paper, and maybe half an inch from the edge and then you can just set that aside and now we're going to do some punching and um, and some stamping first of all. So I to keep with the theme of the in colors I'm using the tip top taupe ink pad which I thought would make a great acorn color and I'm using this kind of um, crossed hatched uh, acorn topper. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ink this up in my tip top taupe and I'm going to stamp it once and I'm going to stamp it twice. And then what I'm going to come in and do is I'm going to bring in my punch, my acorn builder punch, and I'm going to punch out just the, the topper part for now. So I'm going to put this in on the side like this and then just punch it once and this is just a, a piece that came off of here. And then I'm gonna punch it again where I'll see some more pieces fly because as the punch is moving, it's, it's kind of um, cutting some of the other cardstock, but that's fine. We just need to make sure these look good. And then also what I need is I need two whole acorns. And I'm not even gonna stamp this. I'm just gonna go ahead and punch once and twice to make two whole acorns. And then what I wanna do, um, and this, just make sure that your acorn, it has a little bit of a, a bend toward one and make sure those are gonna match up. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to sponge the bottoms of the, the big acorn. So go ahead and sponge the bottom. And the reason I like to sponge them is it will give it a little depth. This is my little sponge dauber and I'm just dipping it into the uh, tip top taupe ink. And I'm doing the same uh, for the other one. Now I like to have um, a sponge dauber for every color that I use because I don't like to muddy my colors. So um, I have this, actually I haven't labeled this one yet, but I label all my sponge daubers and I will label this one tip top taupe so I don't get it confused. Now this is the part where I really want to add a lot of color to the top because I've noticed that the top of the acorn is a lot darker. So um, when I stamp this, it doesn't go 
quite to the edge after you've punched it. So I'm going to really try and darken that out, outline out. So try and completely darken the stem and make sure it's uh, dark on the edge. But I'm going to make sure you can still see the pattern on the inside. And I'll do the same for this one. Just make sure the, the edges are really deep and dark in that tip top taupe and the stem is completely covered. But if you just do the edges, you'll still be able to see that nice pattern that makes it look like an acorn. And so then I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of Tombow on my acorn topper and then we're just gonna line it up. And see how easy that was? I didn't even have to stamp the bottom for this particular design and it really looks like an acorn. Um, I like having the top separate though because the, the acorn top can come off. And so it, it actually looks quite natural to have that extra layer right there. And if you just want to see the difference between um, sponging and not sponging, I don't know if you can see that. I'm, I'll bring them up to the camera. This is one I did um, earlier without the sponging on my right hand side. And then this one on the left hand side is the one that I just sponged. And you can see that the one on the left has a lot more depth to it. So let me just set those aside and we're going to bring in uh, a scrap piece of Whisper White and I've got the Thankful banner from the stamp set up here. You could use one of the other greetings too but I like this particular one because um, I'll sh as I'll show you in a minute I'm going to stamp this one and we are going to cut it out with the Biddy Banners die. But if you don't have the Biddy Banners die, you can um, cut it with scissors because it has an outline. So if, if you don't have a big shot, you don't need to worry uh, that you won't be able to do this card. You can just go out, grab some scissors and cut it. But since I do have the die, I'm going to use it. And here are the three pieces that come with it. And we're going to use this um, bent one that matches the thankful. I'm just going to put this on here. I have my magnetic platform on here because it uh, helps to keep the framelit in place when I'm cutting once I've got it uh, settled in and I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And then just pop out my thankful. Okay, now I can bring my pieces back in. And let's just look at how I want to arrange it. Always a good idea to arrange it on your um, piece first and make sure you have it everything where you like it. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to come in and put some Tombow on the first one. Like that. And then I'm going to come in and put some Tombow on my second one. Like that. All right, and then I'm going to put some Tombow on my little banner. And then we'll put that down like that. And then uh, this gold cording trim that's in the holiday mini catalog, I thought that would just look so beautiful on there as a little bow. So I'm just going to take maybe an 8 in inch length, and I'm just going to tie it into a bow and I'm going to use the little bunny ear method where I put tie the two loops together and I'm just going to bring them back and forth until I've got the loops about the right size. Yeah, That looks pretty good and then I'm just gonna before I stick it on there I'm gonna cut my little ends down a little bit and the um, thing that I found the best for this, because this is such a tiny, skinny little bow, I'm just going to put a little dot of Tombow. That's probably too much. Let me take a scrap and just 
dab a little bit of it off um, but just a tiny little dot on the back and then I'm just going to stick that down on my project and don't wiggle your finger like I just did and I'm just hold hold it down for you know just for a few seconds and then just let it sit for a bit without touching it and it should just hold on there isn't that cute and the neat thing because I made these in the in color I can also make them in the other colors so I can make this card in the cucumber crush I can make it in watermelon wonder and I also made it in mint macaron and I think this looks pretty fall like if you look at these colors it kind of I don't know it's it's it makes a really really cute card set so um, if you're like me and you forgot to order the paper and you're ready to do your project have a look and see um, if you have this in color paper on hand this one is perfect for using in fall and other times of the year and the polka dots um, uh, works well for many different seasons so uh, don't forget that you have this paper on hand all the supplies that you'll need to make these acorny note cards are available for purchase on my blog I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now.